So this is where we left off on, uh, on the class on Wednesday. And we're almost done here with the muscles of the leg, the, the upper leg and the lower leg. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna continue this. It shouldn't take that long. It's, uh, we're almost done. We've done the back view and the side view. And so now we're just gonna, we're gonna finish the front view. So we, this is, uh, the last thing I did was, uh, I was working on uh, these three muscles that make up uh, largely the front of the leg. And it's the vastus lateralis, the rectus femoris, and the vastus medialis. And they, the three of them share this common tendon here. They all attach to this tendon that attaches to the top of the, of the kneecap right here. So I'm gonna fill those in and fill in whatever we can see from this angle, from the front angle. Uh, some muscle we're, we're already familiar with, but we've seen them when we did the back view, but of course now we only see maybe just glimpses of those muscles. Uh, and then we move down to the, to the, to the lower leg. Uh, so we're almost done here. Uh, and, you know, as, as I, as I work on these, I will be making, uh, making adjustments as I see that I need. Uh, you know, I might have to make some wider, some a little bit longer, just so that it looks more, more correct and more appropriate. Uh, but this outline, which I did on, on last time we met, now I'm gonna fill it in. And the, I had also done uh, these muscles here, the adductors or abductors, and those get covered up by, uh, by this one in particular here. This is the vastus medialis because it's medialis because towards the inside of the body, towards the middle of the, of the body. And so I'm gonna remember this one, it attaches to that ridge on the back of the, of the femur. And so I've outlined it there and I'm gonna, I'm going to fill it in. I'm gonna fill it in with uh, a little accident here the other day. I stepped on like a brand new piece of white chalk. And so I just have a tiny piece of it. I'm, so I'm gonna give it some white as I've been doing. This is the, the vastus uh, medialis. It's this one, these are my notes here. So, so I'm gonna fill that in to give it opacity. Right next to it is gonna be another muscle, very long belt-like muscle. And it has the structure of a belt, the sartorius. And it's gonna use some, a lot of this space here that I left empty. Uh, so that's the, that is the vastus. Medialis, and I'm, I'm gonna use my Conte, my Conte pencil to give it that feel of, uh, and see, I think this, in my initial drawing, I had made it maybe, maybe too high. And by looking at my, at my reference drawing over here, it comes a little bit lower. Comes all the way down here. So I have, I've done this for my classes many times for my own purpose, uh, but it, uh, I won't always, I mean, there's so much information with, uh, with these muscles that it's uh, hard to, to not make uh, 
no mistakes. You don't have to readjust. So that is, I'm just gonna give it some more white here to cover up this, uh, this previous outline. A little bit of a, of a highlight here on, along this part. Give some more of this layering of strokes so that it looks round. I think that looks much better. And it comes, you know, it comes <clears throat> from behind the femur, overlapping the adductors here. But it's going to get covered up by the rectus femoral, which is this one here. And it, <clears throat> like the other two, like I mentioned, it attaches to this common tendon. And it goes up to this spot that I've highlighted. Remember, these are the points for the attachment of muscles on the on the pelvis, the 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 asses, the anterior superior iliac spine, and the anterior inferior iliac spine. They're projections where muscles attach. So now I'm going to uh, do the same thing here. I might. Make this a little bit, a little bit of a different color, just so that it stands up more. But I'm, this is going to cover up uh, the femur. But now remember, see this goes behind the femur. I'm not drawing it in here because of the buildup of pastel that I'll get. Uh, but I mean, I, I often debate which ones to do first. You know, rectus femoris or vastus lateralis. The vastus lateralis is very much like the medialis. It goes behind the, uh, the femur and attached to that ridge that's, behind, that's on, the, on the back part of the femur. And it also attaches up here. You know, this is the greater trochanter, another you know, bony, bony landmark. And you can feel that very close to your skin and that this big bone. Uh, So I, I'm gonna have outline, outline, and I might bring it down a little bit more. Let me see, I'm gonna put a white. To fill it all in here. And I'm gonna put yellow. That's where it attaches. But why am I going to put yellow? <clears throat> Try and make this a warmer red. This is the rectus femoris. And then I'm going to get some orange over here somewhere. And see, it has this extended. Down here and it's tending up here, um, but it has a very, you know, it divides. Uh, you can make this line down the middle, and it from here almost. Let's say it's the middle distance from the bottom to the top, and then it does it splits up. It does this, and it does. Because that something like shading one side, and the remaining part there in the middle that is tendon that attaches to the anterior inferior iliac spine. So hopefully this color will make it separate from the 
from the vastest media and I'll go back in with some darker colors to, to separate. See, there you have. It. And for this, so that I can I can see it better, I want to get a uh, the darker content pencil. Here. I might also go back in with the with a charcoal later. I'm going to bring it just a little bit down. Try and, and simulate the fibers of the uh, of the muscle by the stroking that I'm doing. Gives it a nice uh, quality, makes it look like the texture of muscle. Make it a little bit more white, need to make it more thick. So that's the rectus of yours. And a little bit of charcoal here to show that this is kind of deeply set in here. I'm just separate it. And now the one that is, that is left over is the vastus. Lateralis. And this one, if you remember from when we drew the back view, it also goes into, into that bridge. And as I mentioned a few, few minutes ago. So now I'm going to follow the same. Put some white, same steps. Some white. Fill it in. Let me see what color I made this on the side view. So I made it blue. So this should give it a good amount of contrast here. I'll put blue. And remember, this is going to be covered up by a membrane, a skin like membrane. Of the fascia, of fascia. See that stands out against the, the warmer colors of the other two muscles. But I'm, you know, to make it look, uh, it attaches up into the greater propanther. I'm gonna put some red on it so that it looks more. Kind of more familiar. Yeah, and that the skin like fascia uh, is going to take us to the next muscle that we're going to see up here. It's a very funny name. It's almost sounds like a coffee that you would buy at a coffee, you know, a coffee shop. So that fascia that's going to cover, going to cover this muscle, is uh, attached to a, uh, a muscle up here uh, that is called a tensor. So it's called it's the tensor fascia latte, and it's it'll that membrane is very thin. It just covers up this muscle. That that membrane also then becomes part of the of the membrane that attaches the gluteus maximus from behind. Put that one in. I see those those are the main muscles that make up the front of the leg. Uh, 
Let me get let me get my note here so I can show you. I can replace the note, the note so that you can see it. You can see the steps. Uh, Just give me a minute. I'll be. I thought I had it right there next to, next to me. So we'll switch to this, to my other notes. And so you see here on, on these notes, the next muscle we're gonna do, uh, the tensor of the fascia latte. This the main the, the main form of this muscle uh, attaches up here to the anterior superior and it overlaps the vastus I mean the rectus femoris and the vastus. Lateralis, and it see it doesn't quite cover up the uh, the greater trochanter. This shape of the of the femur. So it does something like this here. Okay, that's it's this purple one on this on this drawing. Okay, a bit wider. So that's the <clears throat> that's the shape it's gonna take. I'll fill it in with a with a blue, and then after that I'll I'll do the that membrane that fascias that goes over the vastus. The vast this uh, laterals there. So again, a little bit of white, a little opacity. Then we'll switch to another blue, more chromatic, brighter blue here. Persian blue. So see what happened when I blended with a white, pretty strong pigment. Persian blue. So, so that is the uh, the overall shape of the tensor portion of this muscle. And then the, uh, I'm gonna use a little bit of yellow here to indicate 
a tensor. The fascia that attached to the tensor. See, it almost cuts this. See, this form right here might almost cut it in half. So it comes down. Let me use some white so you can, you can see it better. It's almost becoming the same color of the, of the brown of the, of the pastel paper. A little bit of white to see it better. You can see this on your legs on the towards the rectus femoris and then also back in the back part towards your to your hamstrings. But it, it continues all the way down and attaches. And let me lower this a little bit so you can see this. This is the head of the the front, the front portion of the head of the, of the tibia. So from here, we're gonna go up. There's the tendon portion that attached here. So we're landing in here. And it overlaps, of course, the, the femur. So I'm pretty happy with how this is coming out. Now this this gap here, uh, there's a muscle here, the vastus internus. So I'm just gonna put in a little bit of a little bit of red, so you know that this muscle. This is the makes gives the the leg a lot of a lot of bulk, but we hardly see it. It's underneath these muscles here. The vastus internus. And since we're on, on this part of the of the leg here, it's starting to go towards the bottom. Let me lower this a little bit, a bit more. This is the the head of the fibula. And remember, the the uh, bicep femoris comes in from the back, and we see a little bit of it right here, attaching right there to the top. We we see the this is the as the long head of the bicep femoris and then the short head. That's what we see here. And so I'm gonna add a little bit of white, some yellow. See there, I'll separate it a little bit so you can see it better. Keep in mind, this is behind. The tendon of the tensor fascia latte. I'll give that some color. I'm gonna see what color I gave. I made it from the, from the side and the, the back view. I believe I made it orange. So this top portion here will make it red, a red orange. So there we go. So that is the the bicep femoris coming in from behind the leg to the head of the of the fibula. Now let me pick up the camera a little bit here and. We're gonna do the last muscle that that is on the top here. You can see on the 
you can see over here on, the, on my notes, the sartorius. And like in my note, I, I, it says it starts below the tip of the anterior superior iliac spine. Uh, ends or inserts superior part of the medial surface of the shaft of the tibia below the medial condyle. So it comes all the way to the tibia down here. It, of course, it, the tibia is a, the bigger bone right under the femur. Uh, so I'm going to I have it orange. Um, so I think the best course of action to draw this is if I if I draw it with charcoal and fill it in. So this is the anterior superior right next to the right next to the tensor. You see it creates, there should be some shadow here. It's, like I mentioned, it's almost like a belt. Very long muscle, very thin. And so I'll go in here, I'll fill it in. And see, it comes down. Comes down. I have to give this a little bit more volume to the vastus. Medialis goes behind it and attaches to the long way to get it. That's right here. I'm going to put some yellow. Try to make this as bright orange as I can, as bright yellow orange as I can. This is the sartorius muscle. At this point, it has the same color as the gracilis, this yellow one, but I'm gonna try and separate. They're very, very similar in structure. They're like belts. I'm gonna go over with some orange. Sartorius. And now I can I can bring this bring this down, make make it a little bit wider. Make the gracilis you know, pure yellow here. And 
this one is a little bit wider, so I have to make these adjustments. Also, this muscle. This is the deepest one here. That's why I'm gonna do this, outline it, and put some shadows in because it's the deepest one. This is the abductor longer. The next one is the abductor brevis. This is the pectineus. I'm searching for this in my mind. A few seconds ago. See. And then the separation of gracilis. The abductor long. There should be some shading here. It creates like a little cave from where the rectus femoris comes out of. So those are, those are the muscles of the of the upper leg. Let me lift this up a little bit. And then on uh, on this view, we see a little bit of the of the. Uh, Just the, this is the gluteus medius. So we just see a little bit of, of that muscle. Just a little bit of white there. I believe I also need this pink color. But it's behind the tensor. Let's show the overlap there. Now this this muscle here, the iliopsis, comes from underneath. This is part of the like a tendon coming out of the the uh, external oblique, kind of like. Uh, Next to the rectus. Morris here. If I have time, I will. <clears throat> I mean, there's, I've drawn, we've drawn the back view the side view, the front view. But we also need to just understand a little bit of how this all looks uh, from the inside. Because it, there's a lot of very interesting things happening here within, uh, with the structure of, of all these muscles and how they help us in drawing. Again, you know, this, is, this anatomy is anatomy for drawing. Not anatomy for for doctors. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna pick up, pick this up, and finish the <clears throat> the muscles of the uh, the last muscles of, that we're gonna be working with the muscles on the lower on the lower leg. So there we move on to the lower leg.
And as you can see, I've already gone in here and kind of given myself an outline. So I know my limits. So we're gonna we're gonna start from the front muscles of the leg, of the of the lower leg, and then work our way back. See how that kind of how that works out for you. Uh, one thing I want to do right away is uh, nail down. You know, this is a kneecap, right? So this is also attached by uh, you know tendon to the head of the, of the tibia. You have the bottom bones here as a tibia, the larger one, and the fibula. And remember, in Spanish, it is called tibia y peroné. So something like this is this connective tendon the knee. And of course, this gap serves, you know, fatty uh, deposits and cartilage and other things. Nothing is empty. Veins go through there, nerves. Uh, so we, we're going to add the tibialis anterior muscle. It means that the muscle that goes in the front of the tibia. So I've got this, let me bring this out more, the structure of the tibia. See this projects out. The tibia has, uh, if you cut it and look at it from the bird's eye view, the tibia has kind of like this, structure, the triangle. And this resonates all the way to the surface muscles, you know, like the, I'm going to put some muscles here. This is the, the tibialis anterior. And it occupies this space here. See here, we've got the contour. It almost follows the contour of the, the fibula. And then this goes all the way down here to the, to the front of the foot here. And I'm gonna, Make this, I'm gonna make this a, a bright yellow here. So this is TBLS and T rear. And then of course it ends up in a tendon. Outline that tendon there. Very thin muscle. Now this part, remember this part here of the tibia, the inside of the tibia, you can feel that 
with your with your you know with your hand and you'll notice that it just like skin right on top of bone on the inside on this part there is no there's no muscles uh, behind it you know back here there will be the soleus and the gastrocnemius but this area is remains black you know, the, only you can have the, the fibula. That is the gastrocnemius, and then on top of that you have this is the soleus, and on top of that you have the gastrocnemius. This is like a bird's eye view. <clears throat> Show you some other notes that I have here. So the next muscle, this is I showed you this when we're doing the side view. Camera focus there. So we did the TBLS interior. We're going to do this one in here, right next to it. And that's the extensor digitorium longus. So we've got the, we've got here the fibula. So it's going to it's going to cut into that. From this view, it gets, it'll get very thin. And it drops lower. The extensor digitorum longus. So I'm going to put in a little bit of a little bit of blue, make it a darker green. Some of the same green that I put before. That's a nice and nice viridian looking. To build up the form of the interior, of the TBLS interior, this one is very thin. Even on the even on the side, we see very little of it. We see more of it down here. Extensor digitorum longus. Goes into all the toes, breaks up into tendons. I'm not going to do that because it gets kind of complicated. Um, and from in between these, we have a muscle that moves the, the toe, the big toe. To these two. So I'm going to make the blue.
move this a little closer so you guys can see it better. And the next one, the next two are uh, muscles that are associated with the, with the fibula. Remember in Spanish, this is called perone. And that's gonna help you memorize these names. Uh, this is the peroneus longus, or the long muscle that is in front of the fibula. You've got the contour, a little bit of that contour. And it's gonna come out here. And it goes behind the ankle. So this is Peronius longus. Peronius brevis is gonna be down here. So let me just uh, so this is the tendon portion. And I'm gonna make this. Oops, I'm gonna make it all white, and then I'll put some red, make it make it pink. You always want to leave a little bit here of the. You can feel that it's the on the side of your of your lower leg. You can feel the head of the of the fibula. And then I'm gonna put some red over it, make it pink. And so they also contrast nicely with, with that green there. So that is Peronius longus. Any more red so you can see it better. Hunting with my red chalk. And so this little gap here, that is where you have the Peronius um, brevis. So I'm going to put a little more of these red to make this darker. A little bit of the white. It's Peronius brevis. And then attaching to the back of the, this is the fibula here. Attaching to the back of it, you have the soleus. That creates this contour here. I'm just gonna use my red chalk for this. Let me see what I use for the back view. I used violet, so let me use violet here. So I'm gonna violet down, fill it in. Why so that it comes up better?
So this is the soleus. So behind all these muscles here, we use black to overlap it, overlap the peroneus longus. Indicate that all this and the tendon of the bicep femoris are overlapping the soleus. And then we see the soleus, of course, attaches from the Achilles heel to the to the top of the to the head of the fibula, but it, it comes out here. We see a portion of it here. And be sure not to cover it, the bone of the tibia. So it's so white. So that it's coherent in color, violet. Right contour. And then up here, this is going to be the soleus, which is which is on top. This is a gastrocnemius, sorry, gastrocnemius over the soleus. I made that one blue. 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 I made this blue on the on the back view. I'm going to lose here the tibia. The soleus. It almost make almost one muscle, the soleus and the soleus and the gastrocnemius will be confused. And I can keep in mind there's any, there's no muscles here on the tibia, on this. See this here, this is, this is this portion. This one is this portion. But in here, there's nothing other than very thin tendon-like structure and skin. And then over here, you've got the tibialis anterior, extensor digitorium, uh, peroneus longus, and then behind this, this is the soleus that from So this is the head of the fibula, this is the tibia. The cross section, like if you were to cut this, and then see this from the bird side. <clears throat> and we have one, one more. Down here. Which also move. It's it's uh, related to this blue one here. They they both attach to the to the the big toe. But this one from behind behind the the ankle here. I'm also going to do this blue. But 
but it stays behind you. So there you have it. That's the that's the last of the of the muscles of the uh, the muscles of the leg, the front the front view. So I have a little bit of time. I'm recording this for you guys, but I want to. I don't know. It's it's a lot of there's a lot of uh, information here. I want to show you on this space that I have here. Let me push this. This thing almost fell on. So we have the. my camera back so I get more of a view here. Further, I want to draw the a little bit of the inside of the leg. Any balance you keep in a space. Let's see if the camera can get secure. That should give me a some good amount of space in there. So let's see over here. So let's say this. I have to check my drive on the screen, see all this kind of thing. So this part here, it is what made up the, uh, I'm sorry, you found just white and black here. For this is the rectus femoris. And this here is the vast uh, medialis. Right. And then this is the kneecap. This will be kind of angular. You see, this is the sartorius here. And then this This is the inside of the leg here. This is the gracilis, this yellow portion.
So I try and match the colors here a little bit. I kind of see I can describe this with in regards to planes. That is the plane created by this, the bacillus. That keeps in, it keeps in the adductors here. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna do these lines to show that it, the orientation of this plane. And then the gracilis, that's the gracilis, the sartorius. A bit of white to make it stand out. This is like a belt. It's like a belt. And its orientation in regards to the plane, again, these lines to indicate the plane that it makes. You can see that better. And then I'm going to put like the highlight here to indicate the thickness of this muscle. And another line here to indicate its thickness. You can see then this portion, the, the uh, adductor uh, longus. The pectaneus and the iliopsis here. This plane is, I mean, this is a very geometrized or geometric version of the leg. But it does this. So let's say this is more frontal facing, so let me put a white here. And then here you've got the, a little bit of the tension. And these muscles to show kind of cross contour of the rectus femoris. Just to show what's going on up here. A little bit of a highlight. Same thing with this one. It goes there. And then down here, this. 
So this is the plane of the inside of the of the tibia that has has nothing on it. And down here, the gracilis kind of becomes one with the, and they blend also the from behind the, the semi tendinosus, semi membranosus, they make a common tendon as well. So this continues this flat plane. This is the tibia. And then here you've got the gastrocnemius and the soleus. Gastrocnemius and then the soleus. And then this is a tibialis anterior. So this is a three, like a three quarter view of the inside of the leg. This is a tibialis anterior, this green one here. Maybe exaggerate. Maybe there's a little bit of the extensory digitorum longus as well. But this is, you know, more round as well. And so there you have it. Kind of like maybe too much information about the anatomy. But see, this should help with understanding another view of the leg that we didn't get to draw. Okay. See, that's, that is this here. So, Sartorius, Gracilis, and then this should be another little portion of the semi-tendinosis from behind the leg. So it does this, and then goes in, up, and then around. And you can, I mean, you can feel those parts on your on on your leg, and you can see that this is the shape. This is very simplified and very geometric, but these are based on on our actual uh, anatomy. And then just to bring out here the. The kneecap. I think that's it. I will post the video, make it available to you guys, and uh, I'll see you in class. So that is the end of the very in-depth artistic anatomy of the human figure.